Hey y'all, walking on this some bridge in London, beautiful view. Um, I saw the Barbie movie earlier and I wanted to talk a little bit about it. Um, so there's a lot to say. Uh, first of all, I liked the movie. I thought it was uh, really funny. I thought the um, like set design and kind of the the shots um, where they travel between Barbie Land and America or the real world uh, were really creative um, and really fun. Uh, overall, I think you know the the tightness of the story, you know, everything kind of tying together and making sense was a little weaker than most parts, but uh, the I think overall the movie was very good. I found the music in it to be almost a little out of place. Like, I thought that it either should have, like, you know, the opening, the, the movie opens with this song um, and kind of goes, plays twice, you know, the first day where she's feeling great, the second day where she's um, having <laughs> intrusive thoughts of death, which is just honestly, like, really clever and really well done. Um, and they change the lyrics a bit and it's really fun. Um, but then there's no music for, like, a long time and you kind of almost forget that it's uh, a musical or like that there's a lot of good music in it. Um, so then when the Ken song comes, I think it's a little like jarring because you're like, oh, wow. Oh, we're in a musical again, sort of. So I think that like kind of streamline was a little weird. Um, uh, I think the, um, the themes kind of are really interesting. Uh, so, you know, you have this company, Mattel, that throws, I think, so much money into this film, and you also get Greta Gerwig, um, you know, coming in with these, I think, really contemporary ideas about, um, gender and about roles, uh, especially in America, but I think you know, in the Western world and honestly, like starting to, um, come into the Eastern world as well, in some ways of the kind of one fen fundamental piece that they touch on in the movie for men, uh, which I think is really cleverly done is, uh, the insecurity of being a man without uh, a, a woman kind of appreciating you and loving you and, like, supporting you. And I think it's so obviously, like, clever that she used Ken, who, you know, kind of had that character trait to begin with just because of how Barbie, you know, made him. Or it's like a, it's a good spin on what Ken is, in regards to Barbie. I don't think it's, like, inherent that Ken is that way. But um, making, you know, pulling on this insecurity that men have uh, about being liked and wanting to feel liked, you know, especially by women that they're attracted to and interested in, um, you know, in the film, at least at the beginning, makes Ken and other Kens feel... Um, bad and then compete, you know, uh, against each other. So that's really interesting. Um, I think the, you know, juxtaposed and I, you know, I, I'm a man, so I have this, you know, kind of perspective that I think more closely aligns with, um, the experience of, Ken's, 
Um, but, you know, I'm kind of curious what women thought about uh, the way that they portrayed, uh, you know, the dream world, which uh, I feel like was really, um, like, really well done in a way. Like, when, when Barbie goes to... Um, when Barbie goes to the real world and sees such a dramatic shift between how much power men have in the real world versus Barbie land, um, I think really like, uh, was, was really impactful, uh, on me. I think that was like really well done. And, you know, I guess I maybe have never like really imagined, um, you know, as clearly as this movie displayed, like a world where women are just, you know, as powerful as men are in today's kind of patriarchy. Um, and also the history of the world, you know, they show the, the coinage and the dollars and the, you know, uh, all these different things that men have historically, uh, just, and are still on, um, so, you know, I think it was interesting, like, the way she designed that world, Greta Gerwig designed the Barbie world, um, and I think ultimately, you know, when it comes down to it, at the end of the story, um, you know, you have all this product placement, you have Ken, who, uh, you know, goes back to Barbie, uh, to, to, to Barbie's dream world and builds his own dream world and kind of takes, you know, one extreme of women solely in power, pushes it, you know, to our kind of mainstream position, which I think is so beautifully articulated that it's like the juxtaposition of the two. And then um, I think really the ending is just, uh, is just really kind of saying, hey, um, this is this is an individual journey uh, for everyone, and everyone individually needs to find their own self worth, needs to find what um, what makes them happy, uh, you know, what capabilities they have, what their strengths are, what they you know feel they like about themselves, what they feel is you know good about themselves, and. I mean, in my opinion, like, you can't get much of a better message in a film than that. Um, and I think it's, you know, quite beautiful that a film developed um, not only under capitalism, but under the, like, severe um, monetary backing of, like, a brand. Um so, you know, where do I land on it all? Well, I think... I think I can hold those two things at the same time. I think, you know, I can take away the message that it really is about self-discovery, self-growth, uh, the journey of finding your own self-worth without anyone else, um, which I think is almost a little... Maybe, maybe a little socialist, I think. Uh, you know, mixed with, um, yeah, this is a brand, you know, this is a, this is a marketing ad. So I guess I hold them both, uh, recognize the benefit of having a film out there like this. Um, you know, understanding that we have a lot more work to do and I thought it was great. I thought it was overall really strong film. Um, yeah, so just some of my thoughts, almost back to my hotel now, thought I'd share some of that with y'all, but got a lot more London content to come, um, uh, and I'll see y'all soon.